we have each other. And we're kind of the same, you know. We're not the same. Of course we are. Because you're special and, and I'm special. We're not special! Don't you get it? We'll never be one of them. We're freaks. You're not special, Boot. It's just something your mother tells you to make you feel better about yourself because you came out wrong! In the heart of the jungle, a tale unfolds that's more than just survival. It's about identity, relationships, and the shadows we all face. Dive with me into the rich tapestry of Netflix's Mowgli, where we'll unravel the powerful psychological threads that tug at our very core. And trust me, by the end of this journey, you might just view this tale, and perhaps even yourself, from an entirely new perspective. Stick around and let's venture into the wild depths of the human psyche. A Boy Between Worlds In the heart of the Indian jungles, a verdant wild paradise teeming with life, Mowgli stands as the embodiment of a question we've all asked ourselves at some point. Where do I truly belong? The moment he is found by Bagheera, abandoned and vulnerable, we're introduced to a boy torn between two worlds. He's adopted by wolves, taught the laws of the jungle by a panther, and playfully nudged along by a carefree bear. Yet the human village, with its fires and allure, beckons from a distance. Remember that stirring scene when Mowgli sits atop a hill, gazing down at the village, drawn to its lights but equally hesitant? It's an emblem of his internal conflict, a tangible representation of his duality. He's nurtured by the wolves, and they consider him family. Yet the cunning, villainous Sher Khan never lets him forget his human origins constantly emphasizing his difference. You're not one of them, the tiger's menacing voice reminds him, echoing the sentiments that sometimes the world outside whispers in our ears. Every interaction, every challenge he faces, emphasizes this dance between identities, the bewilderment in his eyes when he encounters the human village, trying to fit into their ways but feeling out of place, is relatable. Who hasn't felt the pang of being an outsider at some point? The moment when Mowgli crafts tools to fetch honey for Baloo, or when he decides to confront Sher Khan using the red flower fire, showcases that he's leveraging both his worlds, the teachings of the jungle, and the inherent instincts of his human lineage. This push and pull, the yearning for acceptance from both the animal kingdom and humanity, underscores Mowgli's journey throughout the film. It's a journey many of us undertake in different shades, as we navigate the terrains of societal expectations, familial obligations, and our own burgeoning identities. Through Mowgli's eyes, we're reminded of our own moments of uncertainty, of standing at crossroads, and of the deep-seated desire to find our place in the grand scheme of things. A vulnerable protagonist. In the intricate tapestry of Mowgli, vulnerability is woven deep into the fabric of our young protagonist. From his first stumbling steps in the jungle, seeking shelter from the dangers lurking in the shadows, Mowgli's raw innocence leaps off the screen. Recall the heart-wrenching scene where Mowgli, newly separated from his human family, trembles amidst the vastness of the jungle. Or the time he faces the council of wolves, trying to earn his place while displaying his skills, his hope evident in those earnest eyes, looking up, seeking approval. Then there's the powerful scene where he's captured by the village men, showcasing his utter vulnerability juxtaposed against the world of men he doesn't fully understand. These moments do more than just tug at our heartstrings. They transport us back to our own days of innocence, days when the weight of the world seemed too much, when we felt lost in the labyrinth of life, clinging to hope. Each scrape Mowgli gets into, each tear he sheds, each echoing howl he sends into the vastness resonates with the viewer. For in his wide-eyed wonder, his fear, his determination, we see our younger selves, the child navigating the overwhelming, beautiful, and sometimes cruel maze called life. Mowgli is more than a protagonist. He's the embodiment of our vulnerabilities, hopes, and cherished dreams from days gone by. The Power of Relationships Relationships serve as the cornerstone of Mowgli's journey. Dive deeper 
and you'll find that the narrative intricately weaves the tale of a boy discovering the world and himself through these connections. Remember the heartwarming moments when Raksha, the she-wolf, fiercely defends Mowgli as one of her own against the skeptic stares of the wolf pack? Her maternal love stands as a testament to the fact that true relationships transcend blood. Now think about Bagheera, the panther. His role is not just that of a protector, but a mentor. Recall their nocturnal lessons where Bagheera teaches Mowgli the ways of the jungle, emphasizing on the importance of stealth and wit, imparting wisdom from his years. It's akin to a teacher or a wise elder guiding us through our formative years. Then there's Baloo, the carefree bear, whose antics and jovial nature provide much needed levity in Mowgli's life. Who can forget their playful swims or the lessons on the bare necessities? But beneath that playful exterior lies a deep bond of friendship, reminiscent of that one friend who, despite all odds, always has our back. Mowgli's relationships in the jungle reflect our own human bonds, highlighting the roles people play at different stages of our lives. These relationships are not just threads that connect Mowgli's tale, they resonate with us because they represent the ties that bind, shape, and uplift us through life's journey. Facing the Shadows, Shere Khan Shere Khan is not merely a character, he's an emotion, a chilling presence that keeps us on our toes. His sheer dominance and predatory nature represent every obstacle, every challenge we face in our journey of life. But it's not just the physical threat he presents. It's his relentless pursuit, his very presence, and the psychological warfare he wages that stands out. Recall the moments where he taunts Mowgli about his origins, highlighting his differences from the other wolves, undermining his sense of belonging. This is not just a predator hunting its prey, but a symbol of the insecurities that gnaw at us, making us question our self-worth. Remember the chilling scene at the watering hole during the drought? where all animals, including Shere Khan, come together under a truce. Even in such peaceful settings, the threat of Shere Khan lingers. His scars, both physical and emotional, serve as a testament to the wounds life inflicts upon us. These scars make him bitter, resentful, and vengeful. Every encounter with Shere Khan pushes Mowgli to confront not just the tiger, but his own internalized fears and insecurities. It's a dance of fire and shadows, a game of cat and mouse, reminding us of our personal confrontations with our deep-seated anxieties and how they mold our path forward. Mowgli's Transformation from Child to Legend Mowgli's journey is not just about physical growth, it's a profound emotional and psychological odyssey. Remember the tender-hearted child who was found by Bagheera, his naive fascination with the world. Contrast this with the assertive young man who eventually confronts Shere Khan, understanding the brute force of the jungle while also recognizing its fragile balance. One of the most riveting sequences is Mowgli's time in the human village. As he grapples with the tools of men, the fire, and the societal constructs, he's caught in a whirlwind of emotions. There's a scene where he wears human clothes and looks into a mirror, a striking visual metaphor for self-reflection. He doesn't just see a boy, he sees a mosaic of his wolf family, his mentors Bagheera and Baloo, and his challenges. Then there's the heart-wrenching moment of his capture. Tied, chained, and paraded, he becomes a symbol of man's need to dominate what they fear. But even in captivity, his spirit remains unbroken. This resilience, this metamorphosis from a vulnerable child to a beacon of hope and strength for the jungle's inhabitants is nothing short of awe-inspiring. Mowgli's transformation underscores an age-old debate that resonates with us all, how the interplay of our inherent nature and external experiences shapes our identity, destiny, and very soul. The test of morality, navigating life's ethical labyrinth. Within the dense foliage of Mowgli's jungle lies not just the physical dangers, but intricate moral labyrinths. One of the most compelling illustrations of this is when Mowgli finds himself caught between the laws of the jungle and the ways of the humans. Remember when he uses fire, the red flower, against Shere Khan? It's not just a weapon, it's a manifestation of human power, control, and civilization. And yet in wielding it, 
Mowgli is seen betraying the very jungle ethos he grew up with. In another poignant scene, Mowgli confronts the harsh reality of hunting. The jungle law decrees it for survival, but when he witnesses the hunter's prideful kill of Boot, his albino wolf friend, it's not about survival, but dominance and trophy. This shatters his earlier, simpler understanding of the circle of life. The jungle, which once seemed just wild and free, reveals its intricate moralities. The human village, too, isn't a haven of righteousness. Its people, who shun Mowgli for his wildness, also showcase both cruelty and kindness, blurring lines further. These episodes thrust Mowgli into a cauldron of ethical dilemmas, much like the quandaries we face in our lives. His journey is a powerful mirror, reflecting our own struggles in distinguishing right from wrong, and making choices that resonate with our inner truth amidst a world of grays. A journey of self-discovery, finding one's place in the vast mosaic of life. As we navigate through the thickets and clearings of Mowgli's journey, it becomes apparent that his quest is universal. Mowgli, born of man but raised by wolves, undergoes a deeply personal odyssey. The poignant scene where he encounters the human village for the first time, gazing upon beings like himself yet feeling more foreign than ever, underscores the universal quest for belonging. That raw emotion, that deep yearning to fit in, to find a tribe, is something we've all felt in some phase of our lives. The loss of his dear friend Boot is more than a tragic moment. It becomes a turning point, urging him to reflect upon who he truly is. Is he the Mowgli of the jungle or the man-cub of the village? This internal tussle reflects our own moments of introspection when we grapple with our roles in various life scenarios. One of the most profound scenes in the narrative is when Mowgli decides to confront Shere Khan. This isn't just about facing an adversary, it's a symbol of confronting his past, his fears, and embracing his true identity. That pivotal moment of clarity, that fierce determination to be true to oneself, mirrors our own epiphanies when we embrace our unique identity amidst societal pressures. In essence, Mowgli's story reverberates the timeless theme of self-discovery. His voyage, rife with ups and downs, mirrors our own trek through life, in search of our true selves amidst the cacophony of external voices. What's in a name? The identity that defines and divides us. In the very essence of the name Mowgli, there's a duality that is palpable. On one hand, it signifies isolation. On the other, it exemplifies individuality. Within the dense canopy of the jungle, Mowgli stands out much like a lone star in the vast night sky. But isn't that what all of us yearn for? To be distinguished, to carve a niche, to make a mark. Recall the scene where Mowgli is first introduced to the human village. The villagers murmur his name with a mix of intrigue and apprehension. It's not just a title, it's a narrative, a testament to his unique journey. This mirrors moments in our own lives when we felt the weight of a label or the power of a title, both binding and liberating us. Furthermore, when Mowgli confronts the humans and they recognize him as the wild boy, there's a profound realization. They see the name not as a mere label, but as a story, an identity, a legend in the making. This evokes feelings we've all had at some point, wanting our names to represent more than just a moniker, but an entire legacy. The essence of Mowgli is not just about the distinction of a name, it's a powerful reflection on identity, on the struggle of being unique yet yearning for belonging, much like our own journey through life's vast tapestry. In the vast expanse of the jungle and the intricacies of Mowgli's journey, we find reflections of our own lives. 
From confronting our deepest fears to celebrating the beauty of relationships, understanding the nuances of morality, and embracing the power of resilience, each scene serves as a chapter in the grand tapestry of human experience. As our odyssey with Mowgli comes to a close, let's carry forward these lessons and stories into our own lives. If this narrative resonated with you, do support us. Hit that like button, drop a comment with your thoughts, and subscribe. Thank you for staying with us to the end on the first part of this two-part edition on this topic. See you in the next video on Plaid Chronicles.